Diary of Dark One's Son is a look into the thoughts, opinions, and experiences of a young black man who is wrestling with the tough task of trying to make something out of himself in a very racist and hateful environment. It covers in detail the thoughts of a man as he observes and eventually learns how to cope and deal with the world around him. It is a story of a man who, while beset with many obstacles, learns how to overcome them in order to accomplish his goals and aspirations. This book is not for the faint of heart, and the opinions that are shared in this book can be deemed very offensive to some readers. If you think that you will be offended by the opinions shared in this book, the answer is simple. This is not the book for you. This book is merely the opinions of one man, and it should be taken as such. However, if you really wish to gain insight into the thoughts of a young black male in today's society, then look no further. Read this book, excerpt from the book, from the chapter, Am I Visible or What? One day when I was walking home from school, I came across this other brother who was walking my way. In his eyes, I could see the sadness, the same sadness that was in mine. I knew exactly what was going through his mind too. He was feeling like an absolute nobody. How did I know, you ask? Because I was feeling the same way at the moment right when I walked past him. Have you ever felt, if you are a black man reading this, that you were invisible to the world? Not because you want to be, but because people refuse to acknowledge your presence. Read more when you purchase this book. This book can be purchased from lulu.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story is a sad one. Jean-Pierre Adams is pronounced dead after 39 years of being in a coma. He was a football star and he was playing for France from 72 till 76 and he was good at what he did but unfortunately he felt something on his knees and he wanted to go uh, to the hospital to get it checked and they find out that he might need a surgery but a simple surgery. So he goes there, he books his appointment and he gets his surgery but he slips into a coma and it never wakes up because of anesthesia because the people that were giving him the nurse was busy with eight other people she was running around and the person she assigned to look after him was a trainee that failed his class and was taking it again and eventually the wife took them to court and uh, they were found guilty but it doesn't matter because this guy was healthy was okay was vibrant he was even going to be a coach um, that is why he wanted his knees fixed so he could be good to go for his new chapter and his life basically ended he was in, in a coma for 39 years but it's not like he was alive he was a vegetable and he didn't see his two kids grow up he was in a coma the whole time but this past Monday he passed away and what a tragic story this man was an inspiration for African boys, black boys all over the world, but his life was cut short because of negligence at the hospital, at the hands of the people that are supposed to save you. Mind you, what he had was not major. It was a minor surgery, but then because of negligence and because the nurse assigned a trainee to look after him, a train, like a person that failed his class, to look after him and the guy even said he was not equipped to do the task that it was given to him he knew he couldn't do it he was not able to but he said okay because that's his supervisor telling him what to do so it's really really sad and this should be a good example of why some people don't trust this institution especially when it comes to black people it's you never a priority even as simple as this you can go to the hospital and end up in a coma for 39 years truly a sad story anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are would you have kept if that was your husband kept him around for 39 years in a coma what would you have done let us know down below i am Ungil Zalal i'm bringing you this report i'll see you on the next one bye Starting your locker natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a black owned company that has created an all natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. 
The Lockless's team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Lockless.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.